Hey guys, it's Aaron the Ho from MobileReviewsA.ca and today I'm gonna to do a review of the Moshi Eye Glaze Lux as well as the Moshi Eye Glaze Nappa. These are slightly fancier cases for your iPhone and for the most part, I do really enjoy using them. The Nappa is covered in premium vegan leather and the Lux is basically a metal bumper case. Both these cases are a little thicker than your average slim case. The Nappa is very straightforward in terms of design whereas the Lux is probably one of the more complicated cases that I've used for my iPhone. Both these cases offer great access to your iPhone. Now based on my time with these Moshi cases, I've given the Nappa a score of 4.2 A's out of 5 and the iGlaze Lux a score of 4 A's out of 5. These cases are very comparable to Moshi's regular iGlazes, though I still personally prefer the regular iGlazes out of all these cases. The biggest difference between these cases is that the regular iGlaze is slimmer, whereas the Nappa and Lux versions are a little tougher and thicker. Real usage, real reviews. Mobile reviews, eh? .ca. Now, mobile reviews A.ca, we base everything we do on actual usage. So, when it comes to the fancy cases, well, we try to be fancy with them, but that only goes so far. Uh, with the Lux, I decided not to read the inst installation instructions and actually damaged my case before actually installing or using it at all. Silly me. In terms of design, both these cases are a little thicker than your average slim iPhone case. The Nappa is easy to install, whereas the Lux is probably the most complicated slim case I've ever installed because there's a removable back, there's two aluminum pieces and a TPU bumper. Installing a case requires you to squeeze and pull things, pieces will fall out, but once you get everything installed, it's actually quite nice. Now between these two cases, the Lux is really the only case that will provide some bend protection due to the aluminum portion of the case or the bumper. Now both of these cases spent a couple of weeks in my wife's purse and a couple of weeks with me and surprisingly none of them have any scratches like I, I the leather one I was really expecting to see some damage both these cases seem to wear well over time if you're gentle with your iPhone in terms of protection these cases aren't drop rated though both these cases have multiple layers the Nappa has a shatterproof casing with shock absorbing inner shells and the Lux has an aluminum frame with a TPU center now both these cases have decent edges to them but if you're using a thicker screen protector like the Moshi eye visor glass the edges do get pretty shallow quickly there is a cut on the back of the Nappa, which may increase the chances of dust and debris getting to your iPhone. I was a little worried for the Lux as well as the back isn't attached per se like other cases, but I decided that, well, the metal bumper makes it all good. Accessing your iPhone is actually better on the Nappa than the Lux slightly. I found the button access on the Lux a little tougher as you have to go through the metal frame as well as the TPU, whereas in the Nappa you only have got one layer to go through. Both these cases have large cutouts for third-party accessories and there are no issues when it comes to accessing your iPhone's touchscreen. Now before I end off this review, I do want to add that Moshi has something called the Ion Battery Case, which is compatible with the Nappa version of the case. I do think this is a very neat accessory because it allows you to keep your iPhone slim and relatively fancy and or pretty depending on how you want to look at it but the moment that you need some extra battery power you can slide over the ion battery case which has the similar design or the same design as one of the other napa cases so it's a very neat accessory it's I, it's, I would say it. It's forward thinking, we'll say, because compared to some of the other battery cases that are big and bulky, um, you don't need that bulkiness all the time. So being able to pick and choose with the ion battery pack, pretty neat, I think. Maybe they should send me one to review. If you have any questions or comments, leave them, leave them below in the comment section below. If this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, I do encourage you to click subscribe. I produce content two to three times a week. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, as well as Facebook. I am Aaron the Home. Thank you for watching.